Hello guys, welcome to this update video this evening. I hope that you're doing really great today. It is the end of the work week and I'm sure that many of us are looking forward to the weekend ahead. We're going to be talking about what is happening in the realm of weather. We have a massive dust surge that is headed into the Caribbean. It'll likely be more significant than the dust surge that we've actually had earlier this week. So let's go ahead and take a look at what is happening. Okay, and in the eastern Pacific, we actually had the formation of Alvin. And Alvin peaked with winds of 60 miles per hour. And now some of the convection associated with it uh, is moving into Mexico. But the system is going to further weaken because as it accelerates to the north, and this is the uh, cone forecast for the system, so as it accelerates northward, it is going to weaken because it will encounter cooler waters, more unfavorable upper-level winds, and a drier environment. Those are all factors which will enable the system to weaken and likely dissipate before reaching the tip of the Baja California Peninsula. So that's it with Alvin right now. Impacts are not going to be as uh, intense compared to the maximum intensity of the system uh, that was there. Now, in regards to the Atlantic Basin, we do have a tropical wave moving across the Caribbean that is still competing with some dry air. But this afternoon, we've had some thunderstorms popping up near the Cayman Islands and parts of Cuba, Jamaica, especially your north and western parishes. As we take a closer look at the area here, we can see what's been going on. And even for a few uh, spots in Central America as well, it's been raining. So this is the kind of trend where as we head more into the afternoon hours, we tend to get more of these instances of showers and thunderstorms. Overall, this is a look at the graphic showing the axis of that tropical wave that is going to be entering the eastern Pacific shortly. Now, in regards to that dust surge, as we see these darker brown shadings, those are higher dust concentrations. So as we're going to be progressing into tomorrow, going to Sunday, the Eastern Caribbean will be blanketed by this huge mass of dust and dirt associated with the Saharan air layer. What is that? It is a huge uh, dust mass that is kicked up by those uh, disturbances over Northern Africa, where the desert, the Sahara Desert is located. When these huge dust masses are kicked up, the trade winds further up into the atmosphere carry these dust masses across the Atlantic and to the Caribbean and Americas. So this weekend to early next week, this dust mass is going to be sweeping across the Caribbean as we head into Tuesday, Wednesday. The Greater Antilles will be impacted and then we'll have Central America being impacted next weekend and that dust plume will eventually make its way into the gulf of mexico and then with that as well guys uh there's going to be those health effects in terms of breathing issues uh certain uh respiratory illnesses being triggered as well eye and skin irritation so it is very important that you're covered as much as possible as well as hydrated because with these huge dust masses they help to stabilize our weather as well so we tend to get more limited rain as we saw with the tropical waves how quickly activity dissipated associated with them because of all the dry air around so that is one of the well some of the impacts of the uh, saharan air layer as it is going to be moving in and we're definitely going to be seeing more occurrences of these as we head into the next few months until we're going to be heading to the heart of hurricane season when these dust plumes eventually reduce and speaking of the season the hurricane season kick starts on sunday so sunday is going to be the start of the atlantic hurricane season and things are definitely warming up. And speaking of, models have been hinting at the West Caribbean in terms of seeing possible development. Let's quickly go to that. We have the Euro graphic here showing these different colors. Now, green, these green, yellow, orange shadings indicate moisture. And if we see an L that shows an area of low pressure, as what is depicted here just offshore Mexico. So by that time, there could be a system trying to get itself together in the Eastern Pacific once more. The second name on the list for that season is Barbara. So Alvin is active. And Barbara is the next name. And then uh, within the Western Caribbean here, we can see some moisture surging into the area by Sunday, the 8th of June. And then as we head to, well, for next Friday, GFS is definitely picking up on an air flow pressure. And it's been pretty robust in terms of seeing development in the Western Caribbean. Of course, it's some time out from now. Nothing is solid as yet. And we'll definitely have to keep an eye on this area. Overall, nothing is marked for possible development over the next seven days. 
by the National Hurricane Center, but eventually we will be having our disturbances in the Atlantic Basin to talk about. Additionally, sea surface temperatures are very, very warm right now across the North Atlantic Basin. As we look into the northwestern Caribbean, especially just off Cuba, around the Isle of Youth, we can even see those pinkish shadings, so it is very, very warm around Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, very warm waters. The Gulf is well on its way, so things are shaping up, and the hurricane season is almost here. So I'll be keeping you guys posted as necessary, and that is pretty much it for this video today. I do hope you found it to be informative, but if you have any questions, feel free to drop them down below in the comments. I'll get to you when I can, and remember to always be weatherwise.